Why is inulin and probiotics extremely important in linking our main brain in the head and second brain in the gut? Amazingly, the enteric nervous system comprises similar types of neurons and neurotransmitters in the central nervous system. Scientists call it our second brain because the second brain in our gut communicates efficiently with our brain in the cranial compartment, where it appears to be connected strongly as the cause of certain diseases in our bodies. Scientists at Johns Alvin M. Research Center strongly support the theory that the lesser known nervous system in our guts is also known as our second brain directly in contact with our brain in the head. Together, our two brains play a key role in certain diseases in our bodies and overall health. A good example is the conditions of anxiety and stress where both anxiety and stress are psychological concerns. Scientists found that gastrointestinal problems can create anxiety and stress. Vice versa, John's Alvin M. Research Center stresses the point where anxiety and stress can make GI problems worse. It is amazingly interesting to note that psychological techniques have proven to ease GI distress, or at least help a person cope with their GI symptoms. Researchers are learning more and more about the connection between different parts of our body's nervous system. People are most familiar with the body's central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and spinal cord. This network of nerves, neurons, nerve cells, and neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that help pass along nerve cell signals, extends from the brain to all the major organs of the body. There is also a lesser known part of our body's nervous system located in our gut. It's called the enteric nervous system. The enteric nervous system's network of nerves, neurons and neurotransmitters extends along the entire digestive tract from the esophagus, through the stomach and intestines, and down to the bowels, cecum and rectum, because the enteric nervous system relies on the same type of neurons and neurotransmitters that are found in the central nervous system. Some medical experts call it our second brain. The second brain in our gut in communication with the brain in our head, plays a key role in certain diseases in our bodies and in our overall mental health. Gut and the brain communicate through the nervous system as well through hormones and the immune system, though the exact link has not been established accurately, microorganisms like the good bacteria also known as probiotics in the gut help normalize the body's immune system. To regulate probiotics to optimum levels we need prebiotics. And one good form of prebiotic is inulin, which is found in some good quality and chemical-free natural food. Scientists are exploring prevention of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, autism, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, multiple sclerosis, pain, anxiety and other nerve-related issues by studying the person's guts. Currently scientists are also investigating ulcers, constipation, sleep apnea, sleep terror, restless leg syndrome, extreme stomach bloatedness leading to pseudo heart attack and other GI conditions also now have a reason to focus on aspects of brain functioning. People with moderate to severe functional symptoms who have not responded to medical management. Functional GI conditions are ongoing or recurring problems that interfere with the function of the GI tract. Functional conditions are not tumors, masses or chemical abnormalities. We can look into assessing their balance and equilibrium of their gut probiotics. Generally patients with stress or emotional factors worsening their GI symptoms can also assess the equilibrium of probiotics in their gut. After being diagnosed with chronic GI illnesses, such as Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, chronic pancreatitis and reflux or GERD, the best natural food source for inulin to serve as prebiotic for attaining the balance and equilibrium of probiotics in our stomach will be highlighted in our episode 3, which are food sources of inulin.